14 years ago, the LADWP family convened right here in front of this magnificent building to unveil the 16-foot-long glass memorial that bears the names of our fallen employees who died providing electricity and water service to the people of Los Angeles. We gather today, a hundred years after the names of the fallen LADWP workers were first recorded, to add three new names to our memorial and to once again honor the more than 220 of our own men and women whose dedication and commitment to their work resulted in the ultimate sacrifice. The LADWP Fallen Worker Memorial was commissioned in 2009 through the leadership of formal general manager David Nahai, who is here with us today. The idea, as is often the case at DWP, came from an employee, senior plumber Paul Abram, who lost two dear friends and colleagues in the line of duty. He shared his thoughts during a meeting with then General Manager Nahai, noting how other city agencies, like the Los Angeles Police Department and the LA Fire Department, had formal recognitions for their, for their fallen. He was right. And so, a memorial was built right here in front of our headquarters by LADWP craftsmen so that we would never forget. David, thank you for honoring thank you for our for honoring our fallen and for your leadership. Please stand and be recognized. Most Angelenos are unaware of the many hazards associated with delivering water and power to our city. But our employees understand the importance of these services to daily life and take great pride in their work. Our highly skilled crews leave their families every day and manage the risk of handling high voltage and highly pressurized equipment of climbing poles and steep inclines in rain during extreme heat and high winds. They work in enclosed spaces and around dangerous chemicals to ensure every customer receives the water and power they, they need to survive and thrive. Their dedication is on par with the men and women who fight fires and police our streets, but they are too often unsung. To all of our humble, extraordinary, and courageous men and women, today we pause to say thank you. Thank you for your service, thank you for your bravery, and thank you to your families for sharing each of you with us. We're proud of you and we are grateful for all that you do on our behalf and in service of our city and all of its communities. The fallen employees we honor today didn't make it home. Many gathered here today knew these men and women personally. They, after all, are part of our team, our DWP family. Our employees look out for each other. They celebrate the successes of their peers and they grieve together when we experience a loss. And so today, to the family members of the fallen, several of whom are here today, please know that the sacrifice your loved one made will never be forgotten. We can't imagine your pain, but we thank you so very much for sharing them with us. May you find comfort in knowing that they each touched our lives and served our city honorably. Thank you so much for being here. 
to help us salute your loved ones and to pay them the respect that they deserve. LA DWP will always remember. The men and women of this department, the best municipal utility and the biggest municipal utility in the United States of America, is indeed a special, special family. Excuse all the flyovers, I think we're preparing. I'll pause a second. We're preparing for uh, dozens of heads of state. There we go, right there. That will be coming to Los Angeles next week for the Summit of the Americas, together with our president, our vice president, and leaders of countries from Canada to Chile. So I know that the, our national security partners are, are practicing exercises today. But I'm humbled to be here today to honor and to remember our fallen LADWP workers. And it was just this past weekend uh, when we honored those who have worn the uniform of the armed forces. For 12 years I was in the United States Navy and this weekend we honored my shipmen who are no longer with us, shipmates, the men and women who are the sailors of the United States Navy, the airmen and women of our Air Force, our Marines and soldiers, our Coast Guards men and women who are gone. And today as we look at the honoring of DWP workers, we think of our other city families where we do this. Just two weeks ago, our fallen police officers, too many that we've lost in the line of duty. Our fire department, and thank you to the fire department for being the honor guard today of folks that we have lost as well, fighting for our safety. But I want to pick up where President uh, Cynthia McLean Hill left off, that so often the people of Los Angeles take for granted the danger that all of you put yourselves on the line and in the line of duty doing. Day in, day out, without fanfare. Your hard work, your dedication makes LA work. The city wouldn't have been built, would not have grown, and could not sustain itself without the workers of DWP. And today reminds us this is not easy work. This is among the most demanding and dangerous work that there is. And so today we honor 221 brave, hardworking public servants who tragically sacrificed their lives so that the life that we lead here today can continue. And we remember the fallen workers who came before them, before we even had the records. Men and women who died building the aqueduct to bring water to a thirsty metropolis. Men and women who helped us electrify our streets before there was a DWP that we could talk about. And it's with heavy hearts that we add three more names today to this fallen worker memorial. These are the names of missed fathers and husbands, sons and daughters, cherished friends, colleagues, city workers. Vincent Martinez, a loving grandfather and gardener caretaker who passed away on March 22, 2013. Don DeYoung, an electrical mechanic supervisor and beloved family man who passed on May 6, 2019 and Michael Lemester, a senior cable splicer, a 16-year veteran of this department. His wife, Michelle, has described him as a gentle giant with a big heart. Michelle and Joshua, our hearts break with you today, who passed just this November 4th, 2021, and we know how painful this day is for you. For 24 hours a day, whether it's 30 degrees or 105 degrees, they were in the field climbing poles, fixing generators, maintaining our facilities, driving our city streets, going down into holes on the hottest of days when literally we had the lines melting. They've missed meals with their families, dance recitals and Little League games, even the luxury of screaming at the TV when the Lakers play the Celtics. Remember when we used to be in the playoffs? Our city of angels is better because of these men and women and we owe them everything, not just our gratitude, but our promise to carry their work on for the sacrifices they made to this city. So thank you to the family members who are here. Your sacrifice is unthinkable. And on behalf of four million grateful people in this city, I offer my deepest condolences. And to those of you that are here continuing this work, keep our lights on, who keep our water flowing, to keep our large and growing city running. Your work is important and your sacrifices are so appreciated. And that's why it's our shared responsibility to strive to honor and to dignify the work that you do, to make 
sure that we do everything in our power to ensure a safe workplace, to make it safer today than it was yesterday. And we owe it to each other and to the fallen to make sure not one more name is added to the monument after today. There's no more important job than returning home. And we know that. We remember those who haven't. And we thank them for the city that they have helped build and that we will hold closely. May God bless our fallen workers. May God bless our Department of Water and Power. God bless this city. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to read the names the 221 names that are on the glass that we're unveiling today. And I'd like to have uh, Gus Corona, our IBW uh, Local 18 Business Manager, please join me, as well as uh, Bertha Galvan from the Joint System, Rafael Lopez from Power System, and Desley O'Neill from the Water System. So today we honor our LADWP brothers and sisters who died while bringing water and electricity to the people of Los Angeles. These are their names. Joseph Barrier, K.A. Lindquist, C.B. Young, T.O. Schwinnison, William Gleason, David McKirkpatrick, Leroy R. Paul, Leandro Escobedo, Nelson J. Lamson, Philip O. Canton, Willard O. Hunt, M. R. Preston, O. K. Dorsey, William R. Maynard, William Temple, Edgar E. Isles, Edgar F. Kuhn, Frank E. Dubay, Roderick McKay, Jas H. Costello. George H. Suman, George H. Hall, Henry Minert, John Hayes, Remy Vogt, John Wise, Earl Elliston, Noah Jackson, Charles P. Ricketts, Harold C. Salter, John H. Kuhn, Glenn Stevens, Chase E. Malone, Harold R. Brown, Richard E. Pike, Tony Harness Schaffager, Basil H. Bross, C. O. Hughes, D. C. Matthews, Harry J. Burns. John B. Parker, Harley S. Perry, Max Bowski, Louis Burns, Ethel Kochams, Homer E. Cole, Lyman W. Curtis, Nellie Hansen, Farrell F. Hopp, Francis Howell, Raymond I. Kern, Edie Kerr, George A. Mann, Henry F. Mathis, William W. Nelson, Jr., Howard W. Thompson, William Y. Wineland, Aaron J. Ely, George T. Wolf, Ernest M. Reynolds. The Mester family, my prayers. Jorgen A. Welling, Leo 
Dasbach, H. E. McKinsey, George I. Mitchell, Ira A. Monzi, Carl John Granquist, Elmer Swisher, C. W. Carr, Dr. William F. Swift, R. J. Mead, F. E. Sullivan, Pete Bunyan, Balser, J. Lutz, Frank L. Brown, A. C. Kinder, R. J. Gregory, William E. Allen, Rupert Penix, James J. Lafon, William W. Lindsay. John E. Jamison, Charles W. Seavey, R. L. Rich, R. H. Kuntz, Archibald D. Rourke, Charles A. Beal, George Bignall, Chris Swanson, Leo H. Conwa, John B. May, Edward Poe, Alexander L. Seaman, Vernon O'Hare, Leo O. Dolan, Joseph Holmes, Joseph S. Carr, E. H. Tremuwin, Max M. Farrell, Sidney S. Smith, Frank L. Schuler. Velma C. Tuttle, Eugene L. Pickett, Alfred D. Workman, Robert L. Baker, Clarence C. Philip Phipps, Edward Duffield, Russell L. Aubrey, Frank J. Yanish, James W. Haynes, Stuart H. Dearborn, Thomas J. Azun, Charles M. Beckwith, D. Herbert Winings, Vance H. Sanders, Theodore D. Plummer, Walter M. Milliken, James W. Garton, Arthur C. Williams, Charles M. Eckert, Alva F. Vinson. Frank Little, James H. Curlin, Orlin M. Sample, Walter S. Vowell, James H. Parker, Oren E. LaRue, Philip M. Shepard, Will G. Freeman, George A. Thomas, Fernand C. Hansen, Cecil E. Pickering, Peter J. Schmelz, Lauren, Lauren H. Davis, Virgil R. Moore, Joseph T. Ward, Roger W. Kane, John Acklin, Oscar C. Meyer, Bill Reddington, Wayne W. Wyckoff. William S. Stevens, Carl F. Christensen, Robert C. Anir, Athel L. D. Mead, Robert McCall, Arthur W. Kibble, Roy L. Weaver, Frank Ryle, Robert T. Hansen, James H. Hurst, Clem H. Long, Alfred P. Rhodes, Edward J. Drabinsky, Samuel E. Blockman, James W. Ashelfort, James W. Phillips, J. I. Reed, 
Cornell R. Riley, Joseph L. Lloyd, Lester Hummingbird. Christy E. Harrell, Hugh M. Hort, Andres M. Franco, Arthur Allende, Alfredo E. Sainz, John B. Carr, Jorgen G. Stallhut, Roy E. Huffman, John J. Brady, Francis W. Potter, Edgar M. Peacock, James H. Kennedy, Ralph H. Tipton, John T. Kaminsky, Joseph H. Laurent, Joseph J. Bruska, Ines Flores, Jr., Charles R. Haynes, John R. Gon, Dorsey M. Rolls. Dean M. Barrett, William P. Collern, William A. Schaltmeyer, Dennis D. Doolity, Edward W. White, Merlin Peters, John C. Jones, Michael L. Kelly, Ralph Hauser, William P. Fonnet, Paul H. Long, Willis George, Theodore M. Hines, Albert Apollinar, Merlin L. Hart, Jose A. Vendegas, Donald H. O'Connors, John J. Fitzpatrick, Charles A. Robinson, Daniel R. Angus. Gerald Ashford, Charles M. Noto, Carrie C. Coleman, Charles A. Tremaine, Larry R. Preckler, Edward R. Sanford, John A. McGraw, David J. Patrizzi, Herman Hermosillo, Jimmy D. Lepac, John B. McIntyre, James K. Rains, Brian T. Blaney, Henry Ramirez, Leonard Godsave, Jimmy Buchanan, Donnie, Don L. Ballard, Philip Wickey, Vincent Martinez, Don DeYoung, and Michael Lemester. To all those names we've read, LADWP will remember you always. Thank you. I'd now like to bring up Gus Corona from IBW to say a few words. Gus. Good morning, everybody, for being here. Thank you. Uh, good morning to Mayor Garcetti, Councilman O'Farrell, and uh, Councilmember Gregorian. Uh, I want to thank you all for be joining us today and honoring our fallen heroes. I would also like to say a special thank you to LADWP General Manager Marty Adams, LADWP Board President Cynthia McLean Hill, and to all of you that work behind the scenes in making this event possible. So thank you for your efforts. And to all my sisters and brothers, thank you for being here to honor our fallen friends, co-workers, and heroes. Just like all of you, the women and men whose names we read this morning provided a critical service to the citizens of Los Angeles. And in doing so, they made the ultimate sacrifice. The IBW was founded over 130 years ago 
because one out of every two electrical workers is dying on the job. And for that reason, it has been our union's commitment to ensure that our members are not only the best trained, but the most qualified workers in the country. And although we learned to mitigate the hazards, this memorial should serve as a reminder to everyone that walks by it that the work you all do each and every day is very unforgiving. Today we pay, we pay tribute to everyone whose names appear on, on that memorial and we honor the contributions they all made in keeping the water flowing and the power lines energized regardless of the hazards that are placed ahead of them. We leave here, when we leave here, and you all go back to your task at hand. Let us remember, let us remember them, and let's honor them by committing to do everything we can to ensure that not one more name goes on that memorial. For we are our sisters, brothers, our sisters and brothers keepers. We must recomm recommit to listen when someone says something. We must recommit to saying something when we see something. That's what we do. We take care of each other. To the families that are here, the Lemester family, the Martinez family, and to those that weren't able to join us today, let me just say this. To you, we reaffirm to you that your loved ones will never be forgotten and that you will always be a part of us. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite up to the stage for reading uh, Michelle Lemester, wife of our fallen hero, Michael Lemester. Just want to say thank you all for your prayers and your support during this time, and I thank you for honoring Michael as much as you have. I, I'm, we're, as a family, we're very grateful, and I just want to say thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to read Evergreen by Clive Saffron. When darkness descends and the shadows fall, you're my shining beacon illuminating the way. Love grows from your spirit even after you're gone. It's the light by which I see with each passing day. I feel your warmth beside me, closer than my tears, and your memory is evergreen and unfading. The vibration of your melody resonates in my soul as your song of beauty plays on along, alive and unwavering. To hear your voice and laughter, I listen to my heart, for I'll carry you inside till my final breath of air. Through each sunset rise and sunset and all my tomorrows, wrap me in your wings so that there will be no loss to bear. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for uh, those beautiful words in that poem in honor of Mike and our other fallen colleagues. And as we have said before and will always say, we will carry their memories with us always. Today we've heard the names of coworkers who were tragically taken from us too soon. I want to share just a bit of background on the roles here at the department and the dangers that we know we live with every day. Deaths related to water and power service go back to the construction of the first LA aqueduct, which is an enormous and dangerous endeavor that allowed this city to exist. Although these names are not reflected um, on the, the, the list of 221, there were actually 43 deaths in addition between 1908 and 1913, but where there were no records were kept of those individuals. The majority of the incidents recorded on the plaque took place in the first 30 years of the department's history. 24 deaths were in one incident alone, the St. Francis Dam disaster in 1928, where not only employees lost their, lost their lives, but in some cases, in fire, entire employee families were killed. These tragic losses happened before many workplace safety standards and practices were common in the United States, practices that have done a lot to keep us safe and make sure that we perform our work in a better manner. 
And fortunately, the number of names added over the years has shrank in compared to the beginning. The majority of our fallen colleagues have worked in the power system, performing jobs in power distribution, electric trouble, power operations, power design and construction, and electric station maintenance. The steadfast dedication of all of our employees to their work, particularly has replaced vital custom-built infrastructure that is sometimes more than 100 years old on both the water and the power sides, is how the department meets our challenge and how we will be prepared for the future of the city. And the type of work that these folks who gave their lives bravely performed and the work that you still do today, as we know, can be extremely hazardous. But amongst these things, we know the most important thing that we want to do as we serve our city is to send everybody home safe every day. And regardless of what your job title is, whether you work in the field or office, we always need to remember that safety goes first and your safety and your welfare is the most paramount thing. When there's an injury or a serious injury, an accident or worse, a fatality, it affects many people, not just the employee, their family, their coworkers. Many workers are affected by the tragedies that we've seen and the names and have not been able to go on in their career because of the impact. And so we're reminded more and more how important it is to watch out for each other, as Gus said, that uh, we need to put safety first every day. We need to do everything we possibly can to make sure that we never add another name to this memorial. It's incumbent on all of us in every role we do to look out for ourselves, look out for each other, and make sure that we send home every employee at the end of every day safely to their family and their loved ones. I wanna thank you all for being here today. Thank you for the time you've taken to join us. Um, this measure of support is felt by the families who are here, is felt by the employees who are on crews where fatalities have happened. Um, this touches everyone in the department in a very personal way and your presence and support is what reminds us of how we are in this together and how we work to serve the, the city as a family, as a family department, water and power employees. So I appreciate you so much for being here today and, and in your own, expressing in your own way, your memory and commitment for the folks who have given everything to this job. So I would also like to briefly thank, before we place flowers, uh, folks who put this together today, Michelle Figueroa, Stephanie Spicer, Latanya Bogan, thank you so much for your work today to make this happen. This is the first time in, since probably the plaque was put up, we've had our own Memorial Day here at the department. And I think it's very fitting that we take the time out to remember our fallen brothers and sisters. So with that, um, the Corlears are going to sing another song, and we will go ahead and place flowers uh, and the wreaths at the memorial. And again, thank you to everyone for joining us here today for this occasion. Mm -hmm. 